Welcome to Quick Literature Academy. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more literature videos. And thanks to those who have already subscribed. Out of Darkness tells a story within a story. The novella begins with passengers aboard a ship floating on the Thames River. One among them, Charlie Marlowe, relates to his fellow seafarers an experience of his that happened on another river altogether, the Congo in Africa. Marlowe's story begins in what he calls the sepulchral city, somewhere in Europe. There, the company, an unnamed organization running a colonial enterprise within the Belgian Congo, appoints him captain of a river steamer. He sets out for Africa, optimistic of what he will find. But his expectations are quickly soured. From the instant he arrives, he is exposed to the evil of imperialism, witnessing the violence it inflicts upon the African people it exploits. As he proceeds, he begins to tell of a person named Kurtz, a colonial agent who is supposedly unmatched in his ability to acquire ivory from the continent's interior. Consistent with rumor, Kurtz has fallen ill and perhaps mad as well, thereby jeopardizing the company's entire venture within the Congo. Marlowe is given command of a steamer and a crew of Europeans and Africans to man it, the latter of whom Conrad shamelessly stereotypes as cannibals. As he penetrates deeper into the jungle, it becomes clear that his surroundings are impacting him psychologically. His journey isn't only into a geographical heart of darkness, but his own psychic interior and perhaps into the darkened psychic interior of Western culture also. After encountering many obstacles along the way, Marlowe's steamer finally makes it to Kurds. Kurds has taken command over a tribe of natives who he now employs to conduct raids on the encompassing regions. The person is clearly ill physically and psychologically. Marlowe has got to threaten him to travel alongside them. So the intent is Kurds on executing his immense plans. Because the steamer turns back the way it came, Marlowe's crew fires upon the group of indigenous people previously under Kurds' way, which incorporates a queen figure described by Conrad with much eroticism and as exoticism. Kurds dies on the journey, but not before revealing to Marlowe the terrifying glimpse of human evil he had been exposed to. The horror, the horror, he tells Marlowe before dying. Marlowe almost dies too, but he makes it back to the sepulchral city to recuperate. He is disdainful of the petty tribulations of Western culture that appear to occupy everyone around him. As he heals, he is visited by various characters from Kurt's former life, the life he led before finding the dark interior of himself in Africa. A year after his return to Europe, Marlowe visits Kurt's partner. She is represented as several of Heart of Darkness's female characters are as naively sheltered from the awfulness of the planet, a state that Marlowe hopes to preserve. When she asks about Kurt's final words, Marlowe lies. Your name, he tells her. Marlowe's story ends there. Heart of Darkness itself ends because the narrator, one among Marlowe's audience, sees a mass of brooding clouds gathering on the horizon, what seems to him to be heart of an immense darkness. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe. Comment below if you want a video on some topic. All the best.